Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the Starseed Dragon Channel. Um, this is our daily perspective for the day, and today we are using the Dragon Tarot by Nigel Suckling. And the first card that we got today was the Nine of Pentacles. Very beautiful. And it says, you are likely to receive substantial reward for your accomplishments and you will be able to afford to relax and enjoy your more contemplative inclinations. Don't shut out your family and friends, however, because they have had, it, they have had to put up with your darker moods and have probably helped you through them much more than you know. Beautiful. And then the next card that we got from the Dragon Tarot by Nigel Suckling is the Death card. Number 13. Isn't he a beaut? And the keywords for this card is change, loss, upheaval, renewal. Few people relish the appearance of death, but it is rarely a warning of physical death. This unlikely 13th card can represent calamity and endings, but mostly it signals fresh beginnings for which something has to give way. The card signals the passage from one stage of life to another, which may involve sacrifice and pain, but there is no other way to renewal. This card represents a creative revolution or transformation of life probably involving the loss of friendly family or business connections, but only as the prelude to a fresh and rewarding phase of life. In physical death, it can warn of a potential crisis if you pay no attention to warning signals, but the card is more usually concerned with spiritual health and the need for periodic renewal to avoid stagnation. Beautiful. And then we we got two cards from the uh, Wild Unknown Animal Spirit um, Oracle. And the first one we got is Starfish. And this is Water Element. Isn't he a beauty? Starfish. Beautiful, alluring, superficial, or shallow. The starfish is a natural and exquisite beauty. M mesmerizing to all. Being around someone with starfish energy is a thrill, like you've been put under a spell of divinity itself. The problem is, these creatures have been reliant on how they look and what other people think of them uh, for so long that they may have forgotten their deeper callings. When this card appears, it's important to ask, am I being swayed by outward appearances? What dreams have I put aside to please others? When in balance, uplifting, artistic, and expressive. When out of balance, gossips feels empty. To bring into balance, positive friends. Beautiful. Love it. And then the next card we got is Dragon. And this is a spirit element. Let me just get to that page. Spirit element, the dragon. We love dragons. Seeing one's most true self balancing the ego. The dragon sees everything. Its essence has been with us since before our first breath and will be there at our last. It watches us navigate the external world as well as our inner world. When dragon energy is awakened, we are courageous, visionary, and can easily drop into witness uh, consciousness. It is almost as if we are traveling with a great friend inside of ourselves. When we look in the mirror deep into our eyes, we may even glimpse the self behind the self, the one who is watching us. This is the power of the dragon breathing transform transformative fire into every cell of our bodies. Witnessing this uh, um, omnipotent energy, even for a brief moment, 
helps us surrender and let go. We let the dragon guide us. We hope on its back. We hop on its back for a ride and as we traverse even the most difficult terrain, the dragon's eyes see beauty everywhere. It is said that if a yogi does not see beauty in the world, their agni is dim. Agni is described as inner fire or sacred intelligence. May even uh, just the mention of the dragon stir the embers of the intelligence within you. The dragon and the third chakra. The subtle energy of the dragon lives at the navel center in the Manipura chakra. Manipura translates to the city of hidden gems and behind its gates burns the fire of our transformation and digestion. The sages believe health of the fire at the navel center is what governs our ability to clearly see both the inner and outer dimensions. Beautiful. Well, that is our uh, daily perspective for today. I hope that these messages sang to you in some way and you take them into your day and make it the greatest day ever. And I will see you tomorrow. Have a great day.